Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same Hello, Ainsley here of Ames Antiques. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're well today because we have another crafty project to get stuck into. In this week's video, we are looking at how to make a protective case for your tablet, which is perfect for using when you are out and about traveling to protect your tablet and stop any scuffs and scratches coming onto the screen, which you definitely don't want when you are watching your favorite movie, Mid Flight. So all you're gonna need for this is a fat quarter piece of material. Now my tablet is an Amazon Fire HD 10, I believe, or some combination of them words. So it's, it's a decent size and a fat quarter fits this perfectly. You will also need a bit of material for the lining. Now you can use the outer material, but just make sure this is soft and won't scratch your screen. You will also need some interfacing batting, but I don't have this to hand, so I use some old pillar protectors and they work just the same and are probably a bit cheaper than batting. So if you're needing an alternative to that, head out to your cheap shops and get a few packs of protective pillar cases because they work just the same. You'll also need some matching cotton thread and a button and some twine to keep your case closed when in use. So if it sounds like something you would like to have a go at, then let's get crafting. Before making the tablet case, a template is needed to know how big the tablet is and how wide and deep you need to make the case. So grab your tablet and draw around it on a piece of paper. I am using a large piece of packing paper here, but you could use greaseproof paper that works brilliantly as pattern material or a large piece of paper but you need to make sure it's big enough because this is going to be quite a large template then draw around the tablet mine is amazon fire 10 hd and that measures roughly 26 centimeters by 16 centimeters so that's what the size originally this template is then what you want to do is actually measure the depth of the tablet and mine is two centimeters so you want to add this two centimeter measurement to two sides of this template using one of the horizontal sides and one of the vertical sides to do this then just draw on these extra lines to give that part to the template then you want to double the width of this so measure it and then draw this on above and this should give you the front and back of the case Then you want to create the opening slash flap slash envelope part of the case. So mark in the center of the top of the template and then bring this up by about 10 centimeters to then mark again in the middle point. And from this middle point, you then want to draw a diagonal line to both corners of the tablet case. And this should give you the flap part. When you are happy with all the measurements and how the template is looking, cut this out and then just test your tablet to make sure that it does fit in this, making sure it's not too snug or too loose. Then you are going to stack your lining piece of material and your outer piece of material together, making sure they are aligned and pin your template in place onto both of these. You're going to want to cut out one of each of these materials. And then it is time to cut out the interfacing batting slash protective pillowcase that I am using in this instance. Place on top the outer material so you know what shape it is. 
and use your iron just to press this in place. If you are using the protective pillowcases, some of this may still have that fusible layer to the interfacing and this will just help it stick slightly to the outer material. Make sure that it has been stuck to the wrong side of this outer material rather than the right side. And then carefully cut around this so that your batten is the same size as the outer material. And then keeping the batting slash outer material part right side up, place down the inner lining right side down and ensure that all of the edges meet, pinning it into place. Head to the sewing machine and stitch the two parts together. Now you want to make sure you are leaving the bottom part unsewn and this will be a gap so that you can turn the pouch the right side out but back stitch on each start and end of the seam and follow the bag all the way around including up to the flap and then back down back stitching at the end. Make sure that all the seams have been sewn correctly and are all joining and just test out that your tablet does fit in between the two seam lines and then turn the tablet case the right side out poking out any of the corners with a blunt end of a seam ripper and make sure that it is all lying flat. You may want to press this with your iron just to make sure that it is all lying flat and the seams are nicely pressed together. And head back to the sewing machine just to close that gap you used to turn the pouch the right side out. You want to make the stitch is as close to the edge as possible and make sure it is nice and neat. And then it is time to fully form the tablet case. So you just want to fold this in half, right side to right side, making sure that the two edges are lining up perfectly and making sure that that envelope part is at the top. Then you just want to sew the two side seams together using a straight stitch and making sure that this seam is quite narrow because the further you go in, the narrower or less depth you will have in the case and you may risk your tablet not fitting. So you want it snugly fitting but not too tight that you can't actually get the tablet in. And then just turn the bag right side out, poking out them corners again. And if you feel the need to, just test out your tablet and making sure that it does actually fit into the newly made tablet case. To keep the tablet case shut whilst it is in use, you are just going to need some like brick brack twine or any ribbon that you like and a decorative button. So just mark where you want the button to be. Now use your flap to sort of judge this and sew this into place using a hand needle and thread. Measure out the chosen ribbon and create a loop with this, attaching it to the inside part of the envelope flap, making sure that you only attach it to the lining part because you don't want the stitches going through onto the outside to be seen. So just keep checking. And once you are happy that it is sewn fully in place, then your tablet case is ready to be used. There you have how to make a protective case for your tablet, perfect for keeping your tablet nice and safe and secure when you are out and about travelling, stopping hopefully any scratches that could go onto your tablet. This also doubles up as an envelope clutch, so if you want to make your own bag then you can use this method as well. And the possibilities are endless because you could make it in any colour, any material and have totally unique bags when you're out and about. 
So if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up with more of my crafting and travel antics. And check out my blog link below as well because there's always a ton more information over on Ames's antics. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.